When I spoke to your co-star, Jason Biggs, he said it was a very difficult role for him to do because he had to act against you. It was oh not a of role for him. So it starts <laughs> off with the compliments here. Was it an easy project for you to make? Well, I, I, you know, when you get to work with someone like Jason, who is, you know, as you have experienced, so fun and, and, and really fun and serious at the same time. And when I say serious, I mean committed to what he committed to the job. And there was a scene where I, where I had to slap him. He was like, nah, I want you to slap me, you know? Um, so I, I just had, he just made it, he just made coming to work those couple of days a delight. Yeah, so I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. How, what was your hook to getting into this project? Was it the director? The writing, the writing, she says, she's a Hutchinson's, um, her words, um, and the way she made, um, this woman, this mother just so full on the page, you know, not a stick figure, which is what oh, right. I look for. Exactly. Which is what I look for when I, when I do anything, I want flesh that I can <laughs> like, you know, uh, claw into yeah. and that's what she does. And that's what she did with this. Totally understood that you're a craft-oriented professional. What I meant by that was, was it a traditional casting kind of thing? Or you knew a producer and they went, hey, she is right for this. Oh, well, you know, it's it was one of those things where where they came to they came to me with it. I didn't I didn't audition for this. Usually I, I audition. I'm not one of those people who get scripts handed to them left and right. I'm not, I'm not that. But that's surprising. Was, me. <laughs> well, wow. you know, no. <laughs> No, but they, they, you know, believed enough in what they, you know, had seen, I guess, of my work. And um, they came to me with it, luckily enough. Is there any of you really in Leslie Barnes or was this a, an amalgamation of people that you've met as a result of being on film sets for so many years? No, I think there was a lot in me and in, um, in Leslie, you know, I, I certainly understand the experience of feeling, feeling my experience being exploited and, you know, pillaged. I, I understand that. I think if you are any person who's been marginalized or put aside in any sort of way mm -hmm. um, in any culture, not just American, not just American in our culture, you, you get that, you know? So I was just able to, bring that what I go through offset, I can bring it on set, you know? Yeah, I was speaking with Jason that it, one of the scenes that really grabbed me is when he has to walk on and cool everyone down to basically do the director pep talk of, uh, you know, you got this, I'm doing this, we're gonna make this happen. And I was just thinking how many times has he had it, had to get that talk on a set per se. So it must have been surreal to be in a movie about making a movie per se, because you have decades of experience of doing that per se. So I'd have to imagine that it is simultaneously hard because you are known to always put the work in, but at the same time easy because you knew who these characters were based on your, your professional experience. Yeah, you know, filmmaking is its own culture, you know, and, and I think that there, I think, you know, there, there, there should be a, so many projects about that because the geopolitics involved, you know, in making a, making a film are, you know, comparable to, to, you know, any country. <laughs> yeah you know so doing a film inside a inside a film I just think that um you know I just think that that's I, I just think that that's a fascinating approach um to this side uh, to this idea of, uh, of of exploitation and you know with this young man you know sure well yeah yeah about you because mm -hmm. I find you very fascinating not just your credits not just your craft but you, you went to Tisch. And anytime I speak to somebody who went to NYU, I like to find out who their contemporaries were. You know, 
who else was in the school around the same time that we might know? And I ask that also to people when I interview musicians who made it, who went to Berkeley College of Music, I like to figure out, okay. were you in school with Abe Laboreal Jr.? Like, who are the other people? Because you might be in a successful punk band and he might be in a successful jazz career, but you were friends then. Is there anybody else from your Tish days who made it that we would know? Ooh, um, I don't, I don't, yeah. I mean, um, God, Billy Crudup, you know, Billy Crudup. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that was like your peer, you were in classes? Yeah, or no, I wasn't, I wasn't, Billy was not in my class, but he was, he was on the grounds when I was on the grounds and, um, you know, he was, he was a star even then. You know what I mean? He was a star, even Deborah Messing. Yeah, you know, and they were all, they were like, they were just, they were that, you know, you kind of looked at them and you're like, well, I'll see you on TV soon. You know, it was like, they, they just, they just had that quality. Um, the actor, Kevin Carroll, who's in snow, who's in snowfall. Uh, Michael, well, actually Michael was, but Michael was a class beneath me, um, Michael Hall. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Dexter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dexter, Michael Hyatt, who's on Snowfall and, and so many other things. I had, it was a whole bunch of people. It was a whole bunch of people. And then after me, after I left, everybody got famous. <laughs> like Everybody yeah. got, everybody got famous. Yeah. It was, it's a great, it was, it was a fertile, it was a fertile ground. It kind of makes you realize in a way that the classes were only one part of the education. It was being around the other actors and actresses in off class time. Oh yeah. <laughs> being a good yeah. hang leads to work. Yeah. And and Sean Thomas, the actor Sean Thomas, I think he's yeah. about to be in, in Macbeth, actually, with, with Denzel Washington. I think I I think I read that. But yeah, and, and I I learn as much from my peers, my education honestly came more um, from from learning from my peers in school and certainly now. Makes sense to me. Well, as I said at the beginning, this is not your only project going on. IMDb has a lot of stuff. And then of course there's the stuff that can't be in IMDb because deadline.com has not yet announced it per se. But what's next for you? Because we know that the subject was made a, a, a bit ago, just a bit ago. Yeah, but I, I made the subject when I was in New York, um, right after I finished When They See Us. Um, I went straight into uh, doing the subject. And um, so um, I'm in a, in a movie that'll be coming out. Um, I, I, I should be better at this, so I'm gonna find out for the next interview. But I think it's November 19th, I think. And um, it's, a, it's called King Richard. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's about Richard Williams, the, the father of Venus and Serena Williams, um, the icons of sport, of American sports, of For world sure. sports. And um, Will Smith plays uh, Richard Williams. And um, it has these beautiful young women, uh, Sanaya Sidney, who plays uh, Serena Williams, no, Venus Williams, and Demi Singleton, who plays Serena Williams. And they are their doppelgangers of the real women. Um, and so I happen to be in that. And then uh, I think in the beginning of next year, I'm in, um, uh, I guess, technically it's limited, limited series called 61st Street that's on AMC that stars Courtney Vance. And you as Martha Roberts in 61st Street. And yes. mm -hmm. I, I try and do my research. The last thing I got for you, and then you're free, or at least free until the next interview. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Besides the subject, do you have a TV or film recommendation you could pass on to someone who needs a new show to start? Oh my God. Ugh, honey. So wow. Because I've been I've been watching so much stuff in the last the last couple of days. I finished I, I finished Squid Game oh, last okay. night. Um and I think that is it's terrifying, it's too violent. But it's so well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's so well done. And 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 the, the Koreans, man, they just they know how to do that stuff very, very well. Yeah. So, Pop yeah. music and film and TV and soap operas, they're the future. Yeah. They're here. I 
got to thank you so much for your time. Thank and really, you. whatever your next project is, I will be seeing it. Keep up the greatness oh, there, Andrew. I appreciate that. I take really care. Enjoy that. All right, Thanks. take care. Okay. Okay.